Greetings from Dan McElroy. Thank you for your interest in San Jose City College and the programming classes I am teaching. A uh, great big welcome to the fall 2024 semester. I am sending this video because either you are registered in one of my programming classes or you are on a wait list. The information in this video is about the same as the welcome email being sent. I have spent many years in industry, both on the hardware and software side of different computer projects. I am now dedicating my time to teaching at San Jose City College. I can be reached at dan.macelroy at sjcc.edu. The CIS 054-101 C++ programming class is a full semester, 16-week class starting August 26th and ending December 12th. The CIS-084-102 Java programming class is a late start class and compresses a full semester's work into 14 weeks, starting September 9, also ending December 12. These classes cover the basics of programming. After the basics, we move on to more advanced topics such as references, arrays, multi-file projects, disk file access, and object-oriented programming, also known as OOP. Graphical user interfaces are covered in the Java class, but not the C, C++ class. These classes should be considered an introduction to software engineering. The C, C++, and Java programming courses provide the foundation for your future success in any computer science program. They transfer directly to the University of California and the CSU system, including San Jose State University. If you study hard, learn the concepts in the course, and gain a working knowledge through the lab assignments, you should be well prepared for success in your future courses. If you plan to transfer to a university, you should meet with a counselor to confirm your transfer plans. The courses should not be too difficult if you had a good understanding of at least high school algebra. There is not a lot of math in the course, but the ability to solve programming problems can be similar to solving word problems in math. I never would have made it through college if I didn't have a few easy courses. I passed a couple by just showing up, listening to what the professor said, and was able to repeat it. I have even taught some courses that did not take too much effort on the part of students. This is not one of those classes. There is definitely a lot of work in this class. It is important that you do not fall behind because it can be difficult to catch up. The classes are fully asynchronous online with no required on-campus or online class meetings. The classes are being taught using videos, reading assignments, quizzes, and lab assignments. There are no prerequisites, but there are advisories that you should be able to read a college-level textbook, write lab reports each week, understand basic algebra, participate in several discussion topics during the course, and do independent research on the web. Are you ready for an online course? Online and hybrid classes, also known as distance learning, are not for everyone. To help you decide whether distance learning is right for you, you can take this self-assessment quiz located at www.proprofs.com slash quiz dash school slash story dot php question mark Title equal SJCC dash online dash readiness dash quiz dash for dash students. Why do you want to take a programming class? Do you like something that is very logical? Do you enjoy working on puzzles? You realize you will never know everything about programming? Always creating new projects? You are in control of what the computer does? Researching to find answers to the stuff that doesn't work? Do you like to fix things that are broken and make them work? Here is one of my big concerns. Is this really the right course for you? If you really want to learn programming, transfer to computer science or computer engineering at a university, then this is the class for you. These are the classes I wish I had when I was learning software. However, 
A computer programming course may not be a good fit for you if you're not really interested in becoming a programmer or computer engineer. A few students in the past signed up for a programming course because they needed three units to qualify for a sports team or to satisfy requirements for financial aid, only to discover they really wanted an easier introduction to computer course, not an introduction to computer programming. San Jose City College offers the CIS-041 Introduction to CIS course, which is a different class to take if you want to learn more about computers and extend your skills with different software applications, but are not concerned about the many details of programming and coding. If you're not interested in a programming course, you may want to drop this class and sign up for a different class before the beginning of the regular semester, August 26, 2024. If you wait until the first day of this class, you may not be able to make alternate plans because most other classes will have already started. The syllabus contains a lot of information about the course, including the course outline, textbook, hardware and software requirements, due dates, getting help, grading, drop policy, and late penalties. I encourage you to carefully read the syllabus. You should save a copy of the syllabus. You may need it if you plan to transfer it to another school so that they can compare the SJCC class to one of their own classes. The CIS 54-101C slash C++ programming syllabus is at program-info.net slash capital C++ slash capital CIS space 054.101 space capital F A 24 space McElroy comma space Dan dot PDF. Watch the capitalization and spaces in the web address. The CIS 84-102 Java programming syllabus is at program-info.net slash capital Java slash capital CIS space 084.102 space capital FA24 space McElroy comma space capital Dan dot PDF. Since these are online classes, everything is homework. The requirement is the same for an online or on-campus class, a full semester or late start class. You may wish to consider taking the class at a different time if you have vacation plans or your school schedule is full of other important obligations. These classes require a significant amount of work each week. The education code stipulates that a college level work is earned through 48 hours of study for each unit. This equates to 144 hours for a three unit semester length class. These are the number of hours you should plan for completing the lecture, quiz, lab, and discussion assignments. You may be able to spend less time if you already have a background in programming. These classes are divided into learning modules with one module each week. The C, C++ class is 16 weeks long. 144 hours divided by 16 weeks equals 9 hours per week. The Java class is only 14 weeks long. 144 hours divided by 14 weeks equals 10.3 or about 10 hours per week. There will be exercises that require independent problem solving on your part. Some of these skills are similar to solving word problems in an algebra class. You can complete the class assignments on your own schedule, but you are expected to submit them by their due dates. There's already a wait list of students wanting to get into the class. You are not registered in the class if your name is on the wait list. I will be able to add a few students from the wait list after the class starts, but I may not be able to add everyone that is on the wait list. Many times, People drop the class before it even starts. When this happens, people who are not high school students or don't have holds on their records are moved from the wait list into the class. San Jose City College is using Canvas as the learning management system. The class webpage on Canvas contains class lectures, lab assignments, 
quizzes, tests, discussions, links to videos, class announcements, the course syllabus, and other information for the course. All assignments must be submitted using Canvas. San Jose Evergreen Community College District now uses a single sign-on to access network services, including the self-service registration system, Canvas, and Microsoft Office 365. To log in to Canvas, go to sso.sjeccd.edu on your web browser, enter your SJCC username and password to log in, then select Canvas. If you registered for the class online or by telephone, you must pay your fees by the date requested or you will be dropped from the class and your place will be automatically given to a student on the wait list. Go C! Go C++! Go Java! I am really looking forward to having you in the class. Dan McElroy, signing off for now.